Hi YouTube! I hope everyone's having a great day. My name is Jenny and welcome to my channel. I have an unboxing for you guys today. It is an unboxing of the Gucci Marmont Super Mini. And you guys, I'm so happy to even have this box in my possession right now. Gonna tell a quick little story, so if you're not interested in how I got this, you can feel free to skip ahead. I had been kind of interested in the Super Mini for a while, but I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get it because it's it retails at 700 no, sorry, $890 in the U.S. right now, which is not bad for a designer luxury good, but it's so small, and I'm used to bigger totes, and I wasn't really sure how functional it would be for me. But then I had an Amex offer of $160 back if you spent $800 at Farfetch. So that did it for me, and I thought, go for it. So I went for it. I ordered the Gucci Super Mini off of Farfetch. What I didn't know is Farfetch, Gucci from Farfetch in the U.S. apparently actually ships directly from Gucci.com. So I got my Farfetch order. I got the shipping confirmation from Farfetch. It's going to be uh, shipped by FedEx with signature required as expected. Fine. The first time they came to deliver it, we missed the delivery. Now, my husband was home all day, but our buzzer of our apartment does not work. So we missed the delivery, even though someone was home. So I saw that. I called Farfetch up. And I said, hey, our buzzer doesn't work. We missed the delivery. Can it be held at a FedEx location and I'll pick it up? And they said no. Because it shipped from Gucci.com, apparently Gucci.com has restrictions on their packages and they do not allow their packages to be held at FedEx. Which is kind of baffling to me because I feel like if you're going there and picking it up in person, that is just as secure as having it delivered and signing for it. You have to sign for it when you pick it up in person anyway. You have to show ID, the whole thing. So I'm not really sure why they put that restriction on there. So, okay, so they won't allow it. But Farfetch said, we will contact Gucci and see if they will uh, remove the shipping restrictions. But they said that they themselves could not do anything because it shipped directly from Gucci. Okay. So the next day, I know they're going to attempt a redelivery. My husband was home again that day. And so I left a big, huge note in our lobby. I said, FedEx, please call us. The buzzer does not work. We are home. I left both his phone number and my phone number. Big highlights, underlines. I mean, you could not have missed that note. So I am checking the tracking all day while I'm at work and... I remember this, it was at 1.04 p.m. It updates and it says that delivery was attempted, no one was home. It was 1.05 when I checked and saw that. So I call FedEx up right away because I'm like, we are home, somebody is home, our buzzer doesn't work. We ask them to call and FedEx says that their drivers don't call because they don't have company phones, which... I get it. As a company, you can't require your employees to use their personal cell phones, you know, if it's not a part of their job description. I get that they can't force their drivers to call. But I was also just so frustrated because there was this big, huge no. I said, you know, we are home. Our buzzer doesn't work. Please, please call. I couldn't have made it any more clear. And while I get that the driver was not obligated to call, I am frustrated that he did it because my husband was home all day waiting around for this package for me. He actually had errands he wanted to run and he didn't because he was waiting for the package. And it was just really, really frustrating. I was also at this point starting to freak out because after three delivery attempts, they send it back to the shipper. So I only had one more attempt and they were going to send it back to Gucci. And I was like, if, if the drivers don't call, we are never going to know when they arrive because our buzzer doesn't work. It's not, we're not going to know unless, I guess theoretically, I could sit in the lobby all day long, but that seems, I don't know, that seems unreasonable to me. I don't know about you guys. Maybe I guess if I really, really cared, really, really wanted the package, I guess that's a sacrifice you make. I don't know. It seemed unreasonable to me. There was also no delivery estimate. They could not give me a time window at any point. So I was just like, 
I don't know what to do. I How am I supposed to get this package? Our buzzer doesn't work. We've been home. Your drivers won't call, even though I've left notes. I, I've left everything. I even put it in my online account. How am I supposed to get this package? So I call Farfetch back because I was wondering if there was any update on the restriction being removed from Gucci so that I could just pick it up at a FedEx location. And there wasn't. So as a last ditch attempt, I called Gucci directly. And I didn't think that they could do anything because I didn't have a Gucci order number. I had a Farfetch order number. So I call and I explain the situation and the representative I spoke to said that they couldn't do anything because with Farfetch, they're one of their partners, but they did not have a way to look up my order, which is kind of what I was thinking she would say. And she said, you have to call Farfetch to have them lift the restriction. And that's when I kind of was like, no, Farfetch told me that Gucci had to lift the restriction. And she said it a few times. She said, no, it's Farfetch. And I said, no, I just got off the phone with Farfetch. Farfetch said it's Gucci. They said that they sent you a message and they haven't heard back. It's been a day or two. You know, I'm not sure what to do. And so the lady I was speaking to put me on hold. I guess she investigated something. She came back and she asked me for my tracking number, which I was able to give to her. And somehow she was able to find my order in her system with the tracking number, which was amazing because then she was able to get in touch with FedEx and she lifted the restriction and they held it at a location. And so today I finally got my package and I am so excited because I was so, so worried that they were going to make a third attempt and it was going to be shipped back to Gucci. And I was like, no, I want the item. So I have it here. I am thrilled and I hope that it is everything I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it now. So the box says Gucci on the inside and this is the box. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've never actually ordered from Gucci directly. I have some Gucci items. I got them all pre-loved. So this is my first brand new Gucci item. It is a lovely box. It's beautifully packaged and I'm going to remove the ribbon. It is wrapped in wrapping or tissue paper here with a Gucci sticker. Here is the dust bag. Here we go. Here we go. It is a really nice dust bag. I had heard about how silky and soft the Gucci dust bags are, and it's it's true. It is really nice. So here we go. Oh my goodness, you guys! Here she is. Let's see. Just a little bit of fuzz. Ooh, she's so pretty. She's actually bigger than I thought she would be. I have obviously read the dimensions, um, but I'm really, really awful at envisioning dimensions and what that translates to in the real world. So it, it didn't mean much. I'd seen a lot of reviews on YouTube. I read a lot of blogs. I had a general idea of what it would fit, but this is actually bigger in person than I thought it would be. The dimensions really, really quickly. Um, this is six and a half inches wide, four inches tall, and two inches deep. That is from the Gucci website. This color is, Gucci calls it dusty pink. I believe other websites have also called it dusty rose, porcelain rose, um, you know, various other names. It is really a nude color, I would say a dark nude color. I actually would not call it pink at all. It's really a darker nude and it has the antique brass hardware there. So I'm gonna open it up. It has the chain and more tissue paper. And then it has the little uh, D-ring or key clip there. And it is lined in this um, like micro, micro suede, I guess. Micro suede lining. 
I love, love, love this bag, you guys. Oh my goodness. It has the heart in the back. I know the heart is really polar polarizing for a lot of people. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I, I like it. I think it's really cute. So I'm a fan of the heart. And then it has a push closure. And there we go. I'm definitely keeping this. So I'm going to go ahead and take the wrapping off of the chain here. There we go. So here she is. Let's see, there we go. So really quickly, I'm just gonna see what fits. I have here my iPhone 7 Plus, which should fit. Yes, it fits, yes. That is my test of whether or not a bag is usable. Does it fit my phone? If it fits my phone, it has passed the bare minimum test. So it fits my phone, awesome. I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch, which I said in another video, goes just about everywhere with me. And that fits with all my keys. So that's good. Okay, and they're still, so that's what that looks like. And I mean, it's it's small, so it's packed, but there is still some room. So let's go ahead, get my oil blotting sheets. I can stick that in there. I have my mirror I can stick in. I have some mints I can stick in here. Can I stick them in here? Yes, I can stick them in here. Okay, so that's what this looks like now. I have my phone, key clay, oil blotting sheets, mirror, and the mints are over there. And then let's see, I have, um, this is a YSL lip oil, and I could lie that across the top there. I obviously need to stick the keys back in too though. Okay, so let's see, will this shut? Ah, yes, I did it. It shuts, I don't, it was a little bit of a struggle, but I don't actually feel like it's strained too, too much or if at all. And that's amazing. For how small it is, it actually fits a lot. So in here I have again my phone, my key pouch with my keys, which is again, I said this in another video, it is very thick, it has like five credit cards in there and my work ID, my license, bus passes, all sorts of things. So that fits in there. I have oil blotting sheets, a mirror, a lip gloss, and mints. So yeah, the Gucci Marmont Super Mini in the, what did I say, porcelain, porcelain pink? No, dusty pink, dusty porcelain. Sorry, I don't remember anymore. The nude color, in the dark nude color. You guys, I love, I love it. I love her. I think this is beautiful. I'm so happy. I'm also just so happy I finally got the package. I definitely think for what I paid, she is definitely worth it. Again, I had been hesitant. I thought about this for months. Never pulled the trigger because I didn't know if it was going to be worth $890 plus tax. And to be honest, I I don't know if I would, st even now, I love, love it so much. I think $890 plus tax, so we're talking, you know, 900 something, is a lot of money for this, especially considering, you know, you can get like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull for, you know, just a few hundred dollars more. I know they're very, very different bags. This is leather, the Neverfull is canvas. But in terms of when I think about it personally and in terms of function, bigger bags and totes are definitely more functional for me on an everyday basis. So for me, this at regular price, full retail is, is pricey because it's not something that I would be using every day. With my 160 back Amex offer, I think I ended up paying around 780, including tax for it. So still expensive. Don't get me wrong, $780 is not cheap for me anyway. That is a big chunk of money for myself. But it was enough money back onto my card that I was willing to spend. 
and make the purchase and I'm really really happy I did I really am so thrilled with this I think it is so beautiful I love the color I don't really have anything in this nice nude a nice neutral beyond black black tends to be my neutral so it definitely fills a hole in my handbag collection and I'm just really really happy Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you join me next time. If you are so inclined, I would love it if you would like and subscribe and I will be back with more reviews. Thank you.